How's it going guys? It's Al Nino here and once again we're back with another Ana Positioning Guide video. Make sure to check out all the other Ana Positioning Guide videos. Um, the playlist is down in the description below and it will be at the end of this video towards um, the 22nd mark at the end. Um, hopefully these guides are helpful. Here is Oasis, one of the hardest maps for Ana, including Ilios. Ilios and Oasis are the hardest maps for Ana. So playing Ana here means you have to be a good player with Ana um, because there's a lot of situations on this map where it's just so hard to survive because there's just so much going on right and it's so close range and you have to set up you have to play Ana very aggressively so that's one thing in the beginning your team's gonna be pushing like this you heal them like that just as normal they will mostly be fighting around this area skirmishing you try to get to the point and play here um, ideally um, you're gonna be playing here behind the walls. You have cover and you can heal like this. You can also take high ground and nade like so. And get fat antis. Because it's a good setup for high ground for antis here. But first let's talk about the beginning. The beginning is important. You're fighting like this. Shields up like this. And you're healing from here. Alright, you're healing safely. You're not pushing too forward because here you're revealed. So you're gonna play a little bit more back. This wall will hide you. You're healing just like so. You try to go for an anti splash on the wall if you can. Maybe they don't have a shield. You can anti hog. Your team can push. Um, if they do have shield, different story. You save your nade. Wait till Ryan fire strikes. Wait for Zarya bubble. Wait till he drops shield. And then you th th throw your nade when you gain enough muscle memory to know when he's gonna fire strike. So that's what you're gonna do. Now sometimes your Ryan will go to the point and you're here. And now, oh shit, now I'm open to so many things. This is the danger spot. What you need to do is move with your Ryan faster. So you're not gonna be staying here for too long. Eventually you're gonna move, oh shit, okay, my Ryan's moving, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. Okay? And you go with him here. There's something else you can do. It's safer. Um, when you're healing your Ryan like this, and he moves to the point, you can move like this, and play to the point as well. You can do this. This is actually safer, and I would recommend the safer thing to do. Unless, like, if there's no one here at the time, you are free to move like this and heal him, and just quickly jump up here, jump up here, and heal. If it's not looking good here, and there's a lot of stuff happening, there's a lot of people, choose the safe path. The safe path would be to walk straight here, or follow your Rhine. Literally, you can hug your Rhine, but the reason I don't like hugging my tank like this is because you're more, um, you can, there's a lot of splash damage. Ash Dynamite hurts multiple people. Fire Strike hurts multiple people. Genji 1 dash can do over 50 damage, like 50 to Ryan, 50 to you, 50 to Lucio, 50, he can just do like over 100 damage, 150 damage, 200 damage with just one dash he can get high ult charge and you don't want to give people that opportunity he can do that and he can just uh, double jump double jump deflect walk back one and he can actually survive that so you need to be careful um if you get picks here early it's really really good hanzo's love here hanzo loves to go here watch out for him tell your team he's here you can try to duel him and you can try to sleep him but you're gonna use this as cover to not get headshot by him tracers also tracer come here sleep her she's gonna flank right side like here sleep her here ideally you're gonna be playing here, behind cover, you're healing like so, and eventually you are gonna take high ground to look for an anti on them here because it is easier to land antis like this compared to like this. Because there's shields, there's bubbles, there's so many things that can counter. So high ground here, very good for anti flanks. Just make sure you choose your timing right so people don't die. Uh, but anti is really good here. You can also anti their, their Ana, their Ash, their Widow might be here. Their Widow can also be here, so be careful with this. Sleep if you have to. Pharah might fly over. Sleeper if you have to. Watch out for a lot of the things. Careful with Hog Hook. Hog Hook loves to be here. So watch out for Hog. Yeah, they have Hog. Fuck this. They have Hog. I'm not staying there. I'm not staying there. I don't want to get hooked. Then you watch them. High ground left side. You tell your team. You can even sleep people like this. So here is where you want to be. You take the point. You win the fight. Your team holds here. And you're gonna be healing like this. You're not gonna be healing like this. 
reason, too close. You're too close and people who come on the left will see you and they will go for you immediately. If you're here, those guys that come from here will not see you instantly and you have the safety of cover here and you heal like this. Beautiful. You can also splash nade like that. Splash nade on multiple people, slash nade on the tree. Whatever it is you have to do to get antis here. Eventually, when your team takes a lot of damage, you can nade like this, move back, move back, move back, heal, 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 heal. Now I'm back here. Now we're playing on point. Now we're fighting on point. Okay? If you win the fight, great, you won the fight. Now, let's say you win the fight twice. So you win the fight at point, and you win the fight here also when you were holding. A position you can take. Again, it's risky, but it works. Here. Your team is fight the enemy team is fighting here. You have a brig with you. You have a reaper with you, whatever it is. Okay. You push together. Nano Reaper anti. You can walk like this, anti. They don't think that you're there. Anti and then Nano, the Reaper, he can play aggressive and get picks. And your team should also play aggressive. Just make sure you do this early so your team doesn't take damage. You can go for these kind of things. You can even hide here. The only thing is if they catch you, different story. It's risky, but it works if you get multiple anti. Okay, and your team should push here. The, your team pushing makes you safe. If your team does not push, this will not work. So. It depends on your team sometimes if they're going to do the thing that you think they're going to do. So tell them in voice, I'm going to anti-flank, push when they're anti, and then you, na you nano the person that's here. Or you hide with Reaper, you nano the Reaper, you nano the Brig who has Rally. And Brig Rally's monster, like she heals so much. And she can heal everyone and heal Ryan and heal Zarya, like as they're fighting, boom, boom. But you're just rolling them. You're just rolling them. You know, they're, they, you catch them by surprise and they're like, oh shit, this is happening. Oh, this guy's pushing. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They have to back. You, ha you give them so much power. The only way they can counter that is with really good uses of their ults. So pay attention to ult economy and keep in mind of those things. Um, that's the main things you should know, really, on this map. Um, it's mirrored, so if you're on this side, you're gonna do the same thing. You hit like that, you play here, and all that. It's exactly the same thing. If you win the point, you will hold here. You're gonna be healing standard, you have Mega, remember. You're gonna be healing like this, heal your team like this. If they win that fight, you can go for another anti-flank setup if you wish. You can hide here, with whatever. Nano, shoot, 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 anti, or hide here. Careful with this flank route if people walk here. Usually they don't. They can also choose to walk here, literally. If they choose to go here to the left, it's a different story because they will catch you and you'll probably die. That's why flanking is generally dangerous and risky because these things can happen. All right, these things can happen. So you need to be careful. But it's game changing when you land it. Honestly, hiding here isn't bad because if they run left, you're safe. They might not even see here. They don't even check sometimes. Unless they grab the mini, then they see you. But if they're running here, you just, you wait, boom, anti. Multiple anti, push, 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 push. Again, risky play, but can be game changing. Just remember this. Go with a brig rally or something, and or nano a reaper so he can be bulky. I wouldn't bring McCree here. I would bring something like reaper because he's very good in close range and can melt people and kill tanks fast you can nano tracer here because tracers like the flank you can nano like anti nano tracer go 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 you could do that it works so that's it for this map okay next part of oasis this is my favorite oasis map out of the three uh, because here i love the high ground so much it's so so good it's game changing i've literally won and stayed up there the whole game and won the game because i get big fat antis that are so game changing so Early game, you're gonna be playing behind your team here. So they're pushing like this, you're healing like this. Sometimes your team will go right side. Most of the time they go right side and they look for plays here. And you're gonna be playing here and healing like so and looking for antis. Playing here is really good when your team is playing right side because you have safety cover. You can't get hooked. If Hog's flanking here, where's Ana? Where's Ana? Ah, I see her bullets. I'm coming. I'm coming. See, they has to get really close for the hook and hook has range. So you want to put Hog in these situations where he has to fight to get to you, really get to you, right? Because Hog is very dangerous here. Hook, you will die. Stay back, use cover, heal like so. Get antis if you can. If it's gonna be a Ryan versus Ryan fighting, wait till the, he uses hammer, 
wait for Zarya bubble, wait for Ryan shield, wait for fire strike, anti. You decide who wins the fight here. And like, listen, a lot of people sometimes may think that Anna's just like, oh, just heal your Ryan, lol. Nade your Ryan, lol. But your nade decides who wins that fight. You know that, right? You, you realize how important your role is in this. If you nade, and you nade your Ryan, plus you anti the enemy Ryan, your Ryan wins that fight. Because he has Azaria backing him up, he has DPS backing him up, and he's confident now. He's confident he can push that because of your nade. Remember this. It's so game changing. It, it usually wins the first fight because of your nade. Just remember. You can try to sleep him. If you sleep him, it's a free nade. He can't have the shield up when he's slept. Careful with right flank. If Hawk comes here, your team should peel for you. You're generally playing pretty close to your team. They should help you. So, okay. You win the fight. You take the point. What do you do now? High ground. Oh, man. I've made so many plays up here, you wouldn't believe. But this is your home. This is your home. You, the elevator makes a sound, so you will know if someone comes up here. So you can tag someone up here. Like, Doomfist might come up here. I need healing. Okay, here you go, man. Oh, look. Look at this. Oh, my God. Just thinking about it really makes me so happy. Ryan's, Ryan fighting here. People fighting here. DPS fighting here. Look at that nade. Boom. Anti-high ground. Easy. They push here. Your team has grab. No problem. They grab all people here. Look at that. Oof. Six man anti. The Ryan is holding the shield towards this place. And he thinks, oh, it's fine. But your nade anti's all five of them. All six of them. All however many. Your anti sets up plays here. You let them push a bit. You nade like this. You can nade like that. You can nade like this. On the splash on the wall if you have to. You have so many advantages here. Literally. Being here is game changing. Always stay high ground. Now. You want the real best spot for Anna on this map? Here. Question is, how do you get here, Al Nino? How do you get here? I'll tell you. Lucio speed boost. Lucio speed boost can make you go here. If you jump normally, you can't. With Lucio speed boost, yes, it's possible. And that's actually the only way to get there as Anna. But if you manage to get here, you can be behind this for cover, and you can literally circle around and anti people everywhere. It's crazy. Like, you can shove from left, it's fine, I have this circle of cover. I can, you would be able to nade from there, you'd be able to nade from there. Now I can't actually get there, uh, because I wouldn't be able to make it without losing speed boost. But you will fold normally. Um, I wouldn't play on point, like, I know some people, normally they will do this. They will stay here, they will heal the team like this. And then you're on point, and it's just a mess. It's not really the best position. High ground is the best position. And I would always play high ground. Every time. The only times, I guess, if I'm getting pressured so much and I, I have to drop. If you get pressured a lot, you have to go down. You can't stay up here too long because they know you're here. They're going elevator. They're trying to pressure you. You just drop. Just drop. Be safe. Again, this is a great place for anti setups. Make sure you don't fall. Be careful with that. Anti like this. Anti like this. People fighting here, you anti. You heal. You heal. You heal. People in trouble, it's fine. You heal people here, it's okay. Hog is fighting inside here with another hog. Change the fight. Make your hog win. Now their hog is anti and your hog is amplified healing. He wins that fight because hog loses without uh, his vape. He, without his vape ability. So, boom, just like that. Same thing here, other side. Mirror. Anti like this. Heal like so. Sleep like so. Sleep. I've slept a Ryan who tried to shatter here once. He was out. Hammer! Sleep. Genji Blade dashes up from here to here. He goes, Ryujin, okay, slept him in the air. Slept here on the point. Dead. Here is your playmaking um, position. Now, you can't go over here because that'd be OP. It would be kind of crazy if you can go up here. Um, they made it so it is impossible to go up here. But if you had a rail here, you still can't. It's impossible and you will just slide off anyway. You can't actually stand there. But this would be OP. Yeah. This wouldn't work. So you slide off. Because the, the way the rail works is like that. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this Oasis map. There's nothing really much else except literally play high ground. And if you win the point, play like this. Now, the only thing is, if you lose the fight, what are you going to do? If you lose the fight, you're going to play behind your team normally. 
like so. You're not gonna take high ground unless you win the point. With your team, you're gonna be healing normally like this. You're healing like this. Tell them pick me for heals. Careful with their high ground. They have the advantage of the high ground because they have the point. If you don't have the point, you don't go high ground. You have mini. You play next to mini for help. If you need help, health, just get that. Heal them like so, heal them like so. People high ground, heal like so. If you're starting to win the fight, great. If not, nano someone, make up, make something happen. You can even position yourself in a way where you can anti-multiple if you can. Um, you can. This tree can be used as a little bit of cover um, to not get triple headshotted by sh three shurikens from Genji or whatever. Or if he's playing aggressive, you can dance with the tracer, make her like make her miss some shots so you don't die. But ideally, you want to run back to mini or ask people for help. That's pretty much it for this map, really. Um, same thing on the other side. It's mirrored, so same thing. High ground, all that. So keep that in mind. This map right here, guys, is probably one of the worst maps on Ana. Um, I say probably because you can still make plays, and it's not so bad when you make the plays, but the positions here are way too close range, and you can easily get flanked in multiple areas. You're going to be playing behind your team the whole time. You're healing like this. Okay, just normally. You're going to play normally. You're just playing normally. You're healing like this. The only thing you can potentially do is move here for a flank somewhere like this or if, if they're pushed you anti them like this but I wouldn't I would just stay behind my team to risk not dying at that point uh, just focus on surviving and winning the fight don't go for I wouldn't go for risky plays like this so early uh, unless you take the point so just play behind your team they're eventually gonna fight on point you can anti like this you can anti multiple anti is really really nice here you can splash it on this wall splash it on this wall Careful with the high ground left, careful with left flank, careful with right flank. Those are your biggest enemies. Those two flanks, big enemies. You don't want to mess with those. I'm just going to be healing normally like this. That's what I would do. You'd be sleeping, sleeping as much as you can. And let's say now you take the point. You're generally going to be playing here, behind, here. Like you're being safe. You're not, you're not looking for crazy antis because the map design of this just doesn't allow you to get fat anti nades so don't even bother early on unless you definitely see an opportunity where you can flag anti just anti normally like anti when Ryan shield breaks anti no zarya bubble anti moira no fade anti just pay attention to their abilities before throwing the nade randomly so you know they can't disable the anti effects to allow your team to push here's a nice tracer flank tracer reaper can go here and pressure, pressure, pressure when they push up here after you take the point. So you took the point now, your team's gonna be holding here. And you're just your role here is literally just make sure they're gonna be fine. So here's what you can do. To make sure they're fine, here is where I wouldn't normally stay. Because if the Ryan Shield drops or breaks, now you're revealed. Now you can die, you know you can take damage. What I do instead is I play closer to the point and I heal like so. You can get flanked here. But your team is here to defend you. If your team is here to defend you, you should be fine. Just be careful with left flanks. They're really, really dangerous. Uh, you want to know something funny, chat? Or chat, right, I should say. YouTube. You can hide here. And guess what? You can make plays by being here. Now, I say this because you can use this as a hiding spot to anti-multiple that run from the left and push forward. This will allow your team to push. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hide here, show up, anti, push, 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 push. This spot is literally game changing sometimes. So if you really wanna do it, go for it. It's awesome. Um, you're just kinda basing it off the fact that they're going right. So tell your team where the enemy team is going so you know what's up, okay? So you know what's up. If they're moving right side and you're here, um, getting to here is gonna be a headache. I would just retreat this way. You wanna be away from them because if you move from here to here, your team is gonna be in trouble. They're pulling back, but someone can catch you. Or someone from here can catch you if they decide to flank. Um, they can still catch you if you're moving on the stairs, but the stairs is safer because you can take the high ground here, here like this, and then go for an anti like that. And generally, you're going to be healing like so. And at that time, 
it's hard for you to retreat back here. Because the time it takes you to go all the way from here to here, by that time someone might die. And like they're fighting, and being up here gives you an opportunity for nade. So if you take the point, it's fine. You can actually just play here. Um, your only worry is if people dive you and push you, but that's gonna happen anyway. Um, you're on Oasis. It, it's gonna happen to you. You will get pushed and flanked and dived every time. So just try to stay. You can stay up here and look for an anti-flank, literally, and just make a play off that. If you get pushed and dived, you wouldn't run to the mini. You wouldn't have time. You would just try to take the duel, drop. Need help, need help. Your owner needs help. Left of the point, really close, and you can just fight the person here. If you fight on the point, everyone's gonna join line. It's like, ah, I see you hitting Anna. I wanna kill Anna. I wanna kill Anna. I wanna kill Anna. I wanna kill Anna. It's like it's like that movie scene from Nemo. Everyone's saying mine, mine, mine. Yeah, you're you're theirs if you show yourself to everyone. If you keep him fighting here and your team comes in to help you, tell them I need help, I need help. Don't go too far deep in the point. You might get picked. Play like this. You know, anti the wall. Fight him, fight him, fight him. Your team helps you. Nice, we got him. Now we can start moving a little bit more like this and healing like this. Huge. This is a situation where you get dived, your team has to win the fight, and just try to get big antis, and that's really it for this map, honestly. Right side, they have many. You, It's not bad to play here either, but you can easily get flanks. Again, you don't want to expose yourself to easy flanks. You're not going to stay here long. The only time you ever go here is if you're going to anti real quick, behind their shield, but you can get still picked. It's too risky. If you're going to go for anti-flanks, high ground, left side is probably your best friend. Um, so by default, you're going to be playing main behind cover here and here. You're going to be hiding in that left corner we talked about. Okay. And you're going to be healing like this. Just normal, normally healing. And eventually you can actually go here and heal like this. If you don't have time to go all the way back, you can heal like this. Ask people to help you. If they push you, you're in trouble. If they hook you, you're in trouble. Go for anti setups in this case. Um, but yeah, it's better to be here than here as Ana. Just a word of tip. That's it for Oasis. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope this guide has helped you out. Make sure you check out our stream at twitch.tv slash alien9. Link will be in the description down below, and it will be by the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching once again, and I'll catch you later. Peace out.